Hide them, hide them, hide them. And we'll find them, find them, find them. Caches. Going for some caches today on the trail, and one looks incredibly hard. And we want you to come along and help us find it. <coughs> Weather's improving here for us. But that means it's getting warmer, wetter, and squishier underfoot. But that never deterred a geocacher, now did it? No. Yeah, it's gotta be in that tree. Oh, the, oh, the tree kind of tipped a bit, no. What's on this branch? I don't think it's where it used to, it's supposed to be. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, that one looks like it, uh, it's been repositioned somewhat uh, on a loop. It probably was a lot higher. This one, the hint is climb, but uh, Lyric Glass is not that tall, and she didn't have to climb. She just reached up and got it. <laughs> Are you calling me short? If the title fits, wear it. Hold on. Okay. I don't want to be that geocacher, but uh, it certainly needs to be up a little higher, and it did say climb. We'll do the old stick up in the air trick and put it back up a little higher. Kind of where we think it should be. Maybe, if I can get it around. There. There we go. Climb or stick it. It just occurred to me that geocaching is similar to a video game. You create your avatar name, you go to your closet and pick out some different clothes and some different footwear, and you can play it cooperatively or on your own, and you go out, have an adventure, and when you put the cache back, the next time you go there, the cache is still there, so it's a reset. And if you don't achieve your goal, you get a DNF, you can come back another day and replay the game. That's a cool observation because the caches that we're looking for right now have all been replaced. We were down this trail when we first started geocaching many years ago and it's like the game has reset itself. Just like a video game. We're walking on a railway line, that's right. But this one is abandoned. And the next cache is a four, two, or a two and a half. And it's on the railway trestle over the creek. And it's supposed to be pretty hard to find. Okay, um, stick your hand down again. Yeah, uh, right there, go towards the north, uh, the south. Uh, the no yeah, yeah, right there. Right below your hand. You see it? Okay, mark that spot and I'll come up. Yeah, there's a, there's a fishing line and something and, and, okay, yeah, I'll be right up. Okay, so. Up above, we were looking at this one. You couldn't see it. You're laying down on the ties. So I thought, now I'm going to come down just to see if there is something uh, that I can find from below. And sure enough, there's a fishing line or something. And everybody in their log says you can't reach it or you can't pull it out. You've got to you've got to get at the log from where it is because the tether's not long enough to bring it up. So we're going to go back up and uh, see if we can get this cache. It's a pretty cool one. Okay, we've got the spot marked. I just got to get back up there. And See if we can get this one on this old bridge. 
Ah, it's a pretty nice spot around here. And boy, has it ever turned into a warm day. Had to take my sweater off, my hat. Glad I got a haircut. <laughs> Follow the animal trails back up. Got the spot marked? Yep. It's awesome. right here. Right here. You can see it when you look down. There's a wire. Wire. Oh, yeah. Steel cable. Yeah. Yeah, I see. It's a. Uh, oh, that's evil. That is just pure evil. Oh my gosh. It's a. Uh, it's a uh, one of those gold um, nano containers. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get this back together. Frig. And it's on a steel bolt cover. It's really heavy. But this is going to be... I think we're going to have to do this together. Okay, I got the bottom off and the log is in my fingers. And I'm letting the container go. Okay. Check that out. <laughs> Holy doodle. <laughs> If I can get that back without dropping it, I think it's going to be team effort. One of us is going to have to hold the container while the other one screws it back together. <laughs> Got a pen? <laughs> okay, so I was able to grab onto it with my left and bring the container down with my right and then just pull it over to the left a bit so I can see what I'm doing. And then uh, I got it together and now I can put it back. That was awesome. I don't know, that's my favorite, that's my favorite adjective whenever we're geocaching. As there's no else, no other way to describe it, but dang cool, loved it. That's adventure geocaching.